Oh, no. No, please. What is it? What's the matter? They're kissing again. Hey, everyone. I'm Jessica Rothert, and welcome to the 80s Emporium, your home for everything 80s. Do you feel that in the air? It's love. Either that or somebody's making soup down the hall. It's almost time for Valentine's Day, a day to show your love by sending flowers, love letters, chocolates, or let's see, what else do I want? Bourbon. Which brings us to our topic. Let's talk about our favorite romantic comedies from the 1980s. Cameron Crowe's directorial debut, Say Anything, boasts what is by far one of the most iconic movie moments of all time. In 1987's Overboard has garnered cult status due to the wonderful chemistry of co-stars Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. It's no wonder, the two have been a real-life couple since 1983. Last night never happened, and I'm gonna marry him, and you and I are gonna take this to our coffins. I can't do that. Why not? I'm in love with you. Snap out of it! To forget about this next film would be inconceivable. That's right, we can't forget about 1987's The Princess Bride. Farm boy, fill these with water. Please. As you wish. In 1986, Spike Lee came onto the scene in a big way with his indie romantic comedy hit, She's Gotta Have It. It's your birthday, Noel. Let me run my bike for in five minutes we can celebrate. It is late. Come on, call me in the morning. I'm really tired. In the morning won't be your birthday, Nola. This is the damnedest season I've ever seen. I mean, the Durham Bulls can't lose and I can't get laid. <laughs> The fantasy rom-com Splash made waves at the 1984 box office, but it also had another unexpected impact on our society. See, names, names. Uh, Linda, Kim, where are we? Madison. Uh, Elizabeth, Madison. Samantha. Madison, I like Madison. Well, Madison's not a name. Well, all right, okay, fine. Madison it is. In 1984, the name Madison was almost unheard of. But by 2000, it was the third most popular girl name in America. She's really hungry. Sometimes you meet your true love in unexpected ways. On a train, at a restaurant, in the South American jungle. What's your name? Uh, uh, I'm Joan Wilder. Joan Wilder, welcome to Columbia. I need to talk. What happened? What's the matter? Mary came over last night. I went night. over to Sally's last night. Because I was upset that Joe was getting married. And one thing led to another. And before I knew it, we were kissing, and To make and a long story short, we, we did, did it. it. They did it. At that moment, I knew. I knew the way you know about a good melon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I'm thinking about all the old couples. Talking about their map. I don't really love each other. Roxanne was a modern reimagining of the 19th century play Cyrano de Bergerac. Do you have a straw? No, I don't, actually. Why? No particular reason. In the film, Martin wore a large prosthetic nose that took over 90 minutes to put on. That's how long it takes for me to get through a pint of Ben & Jerry's. Psych, it takes like five minutes. I want to break our 80s theme for one more rom-com. At Lunacy Productions, when we're not making 80s videos, we're making movies. And a few months ago, we helped bring you a hilarious movie that is equal parts rom and com. Jeff Chan and Andrew Reimers, plus one. Ben. Yeah. Ben, this is actually a great idea. Oh, is it? Yeah. What just happened, that is proof that I can close for you, buddy. Oh, you're right here. Yeah. OK. A little Come bit on. of space. Okay. A little bit of space. I'm going to tee it up for you with the ladies. Be your wingman. I'll set you up so you can do your thing, you know? What is happening here? Well, there you have it. A look into some of our favorite rom-coms of the 1980s. Now, I want to hear from you. What's your favorite 80s romantic comedy? Is there one you hate with all your heart? I know there is. Comment below. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for more videos and the chance to win some prizes. Also, be sure to check out the Lunacy Productions online shop for some super cool 80s swag for you or that special someone. Thanks for watching. Good night. It already came true. Get in.
I mean, is no one worried about her dress lighting on fire? Cause like, maybe we could have blown the candles out first. I mean, I was stupid. I made out in a movie theater to Titanic with a giant armrest in between us. But like, listen, learn from my mistakes.